everybody, welcome back to Prissy Beauty. Today I have a tutorial for you and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hill Catwalk Palette and it's a look just inspired by the uh, change of colors from summer to fall. Now I'm starting to timidly see some of the leaves changing from green to yellow and the golds and I think that it's such a beautiful combination of gold and black. Um, very nice for, you know, complimentary for each any kind of eyes. So I decided to do that. Um, if you'd like to see the tutorials, stay tuned. I'm going to start using the um, Gold Rush uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this is kind of um, a base for the, the gold eyeshadow I'm going to use, even though the golden eyeshadow I intend to use is not as yellow of a gold as this base. And this base is a little blotchy, so a lot of times it's better to apply with your finger. I tried with a couple of brushes just to kind of blend out a little bit, but that didn't really come out that great. So I'm going to try here again, but I understand now why I didn't use this so much before. It kind of almost behaves like a glitter, you know? It's not very easy to use. So the the... The palette I'm going to use today is the Anastasia Catwalk Palette and they have a little, I think the names are not here but I believe this shade here is called 10K and it's like a, a yellow gold but it's not too like yellow, you know, it's not too strong if you like. Just with the shading brush I'm going to apply that all over the lid on top of that base. So it helps intensify the gold from the eyeshadow. Because, like I said, it's not a gold, gold, yellow, like, you know, like the base, but that's pretty much it. Just apply all over, like that. With a pointy blending brush, I'm going to use this chocolate gold here, um, chocolate brown right here. I'm not sure. I'll put the names down if I can't find the box, because there are no names in the palette. And I'm going to trace the crease with this brush all the way. With a clean blending brush, any kind you have, just gonna blend the you know the the outer part so it doesn't look the, you know it's not too drastic the contrast I'm back on blending and then go back in with the brown and intensify even more I don't want to go up too much. I want to concentrate dark, but just within the eyes, you know, the, the crease area. So don't blend out too much. And then bring down a little bit to the lower lash line here. Like so. And the secret of a nice eye look is to blend, so don't be shy there. I'm going to dip into the black shade here and it's just a matte black. And I'm concentrating that right on the outer part here of the eye. This is where I'm going to keep the darkness. With another blending brush, clean preferably, just blend that black with the brown so it doesn't look harsh again. Like so. And that's pretty much the base for the eye. Then with a little flat shading brush, I'm going to use the, there's like a, a more shimmery uh, black, uh, oh my goodness, I'm getting my colors all mixed up, a shimmery brown right here. And I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. With a little pencil brush, you can go in and blend it out a little bit. And 
dip it in the black very slightly and even closer to the lash line okay like that then I'm going to apply a black eyeliner on the waterline all the way in you want it nice and dark depending how comfortable you feel with your tight line you can tight line I feel like sometimes I can't, sometimes I cannot do this, so um, today I got lucky. But my eyes get all a little watery as you can tell, so I gotta wait a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna apply some um, eyeliner on the top. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible in black and just like a flat angle brush like this. And I'm gonna apply it very, very thinly is just to really darken the and I'm even pulling like this, which is something I don't like to do. But just to kind of really, really get close there to the waterline. And my eyeliner is a little dry at this point. So it takes me some time to get through it. Just bear there with me. Really tough these days with this eyeliner. Really need to get a new one. No matter how good they are, they always dry up. Curl the lash line. I mean, curl the eyelashes. If you feel like you need to go back in with the gold shade just to intensify the gold, you can. I might do that just quickly. Better to do that before you do the eyeliner, by the way. But I wasn't really successful with my eyeliner anyway. What I did on the other side, I went back in with the color tattoo. And I prayed I could get something out of this thing because it's so weird in texture. So I'm just kind of swirling a brush in there. Doesn't really usually pick up a lot of product. And just kind of dabbing it. Because it has this sort of glitter effect, it gives you a nice, nice color. See, really gold, nice. I'm even doing that on the other side a little bit more. Now that I got more on the brush. Yeah, definitely, boom, you know, it gives you that more of a gold look. Pretty. Mascara I'm using is this Too Faced Lash Gas Mascara in black. I'm just gonna apply that to the top and bottom lashes. Obviously, if you want, you can apply false lashes. As you might have noticed, I don't usually do much of false lashes. So, a little uh, setting powder just to wipe out any kind of fallout because I already had my concealer on. And that's it for the eyes. I will finish the face and come back to show you the final, okay? Okay, so here's the final look. And for the face, I just, um, I had some tinted moisturizer, like BB cream under, um, you know, over, and then some concealer. I applied my Studio Fix uh, powder foundation just to mattify the face a little bit more and a little bit more coverage. For contouring, I used my Bahama Mama 
bronzer by The Balm. As a blush, I used Tarte Exposed Amazonian Clay Blush. I used a little highlighter. This is the CK1 highlighter and Cool 100. Um, for the lips, very muted lips, so I used the Milani uh, HD Advanced um, Classy Nude is the name on top, which is the CK1 color um, in uh, 810 Tender. And this is it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.